He is a Golden Globe winner, Grammy and British Academy Film Award nominee, who you might know from his prior roles as Elton John in Rocket Man or his roles in the Kingsman films. Now Taron Egerton is starring as James Keen in the Apple TV Plus crime drama Blackbird. Our Trevor Alt sat down with him to discuss his on-screen transformation. I never wanted this for you. I wanted a totally different life. A steady paycheck, kids, a family. Dad. Tell me there's a way out of this. Taron Edgerton, appreciate you making time to talk to us. Obviously, the audience knows you well. Starred in Kingsman, one of the most uh, decorated, celebrated action franchises uh, in modern movies. Of course, everybody saw you in Elton John. Loved that, too. This series, Blackbird. So you are a convicted drug dealer, sentenced to a decade in prison, and your way out is to go undercover at a maximum security prison to try to solicit a confession from a suspected serial killer. It's heavy stuff. Actors are always proud of their projects, but it seems like you are really proud of this one. What makes this one different? I would say quite a long way the most sophisticated piece of writing that I, that I have done. I'm just really very proud with how the show's turned out, and I think it's a, a compelling thing. It has to feel a little bit different doing a six-episode miniseries as opposed to movies because you can make it a little bit more complex and weave those themes together. With a movie, I don't know, you kind of have to declare who a person is quite quickly so that an audience know what they're dealing with. In a limited series, you don't have that problem. You can allow things to really breathe and unfold over a protracted period of time. And from an acting perspective, that's really, really fun because you can sort of focus on inhabiting the character and not feel such a pressure to tell the story with the choices you make. Does it change your approach to the project at all because this is a real person who you're playing? Not really. For me, I take my inspiration in, for the most part, from what's written on the page. At the end of the day, it's the script that dictates whether it's going to be a great piece of storytelling. So for me, it's all about the script. It's all about the character on the page. and. But then again, saying that, I suppose there's, when you know something really happened, perhaps that lends a, a charge to something, a sense of, wow, we're depicting something that really unfolded. So maybe it gives it a weight. I'm not part of the machine. I was my family, your mother's family. You've referred to the relationship that your character has with his father as the beating heart of this series. And of course, your dad in this is played by the late, great Ray Liotta. Uh, you've told some amazing stories about arriving on set, understandably being a little bit anxious with Ray Liotta, a legend, uh, and yeah. how he completely diffused that. I think he came over and hugged you. I mean, was this? That's right, yeah. They say don't meet your heroes, but it sounds like this was everything and more. What I kind of loved about him was it wasn't just that it was like he was just a great guy and super lovely and really nice to me. It was more interesting than that. He was just, he just had a kind of intensity and a creative charge to him. Like, he's an intimidating guy to be around because he brings a level of presence and also unpredictability to what he does. Um, but he also has a phenomenal facility for, for warmth and tenderness and openness. Anything that you're gonna take from Ray into future projects? He, he was acting with his whole body. It was his whole being, you know. There was a fragility and a frailness to the character of Big Jim that Ray really was sat in and you could feel it in his, I don't know, he was holding something in his body that was of the, it's really hard to describe. It was just a very fully realized, very inhabited performance. And in terms of me learning something from that, there's just, you you just kind of go, wow, that's, that, I, I, want, I want to do that kind of work. Yeah, I mean, you get that when you watch Ray Liotta work, you, he kind of grabs you through the screen. Uh, Absolutely. I wanted to shift gears a little bit. You noticeably bulked up for the role. I give you credit. I took some notice of it for it. I saw on Instagram you posted a video dancing celebrating because you got your protein powder. It was <laughs> banana flavored. Why banana flavored? Banana flavor is, is better in the UK. <laughs> I was given an, a brand that is only over here and it was awful. It was did yeah. not taste of banana, it was awful. So I had a brand shipped over from the UK, which I like, um, and that's why I was dancing, because I was, <laughs> I was very excited to have my preferred brand of protein powder. 
I, I hate to bombard you with this question because I know that you get it all the time. Are you bulking up to show that you can do the superhero role? I, look, I mean, I really like superhero movies. I really love Marvel, and I would, I would be like most actors. You know, it's it, they're, they're 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 great opportunities. They find a massive audience, and they're great stories. Um, so, you know, I'd absolutely love to do something at some point. But they're they're um, they work in mysterious ways. Those those guys at Marvel, they know what they're doing, and they make their decisions. And you know. Um, who knows? Maybe one day I'll get the call. But people are are clamoring for your name, so you clearly got a good thing very, going. Very flattering. Very flattering sure. indeed. Well, we're looking forward to Blackbird. The first two episodes, July eighth, and then Thanks, one man. a week after that. Thanks a lot, Taryn Edgerton. Appreciate your time. Likewise. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.